Hey, this is Digital by Computing. My name is Emilio, and today we're gonna to look at how to set the NTP time on an ESXi host running 7.0 in your VMware environment. But before we do that, please subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Let's go through those steps right now. So I work in IT and I absolutely love it. And today, the simple steps on how to enable NTP, essentially set an NTP time uh, on your ESXi host. We're running 7.0. We're gonna connect to an ESXi host directly. You could be doing this via vCenter, it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna go through the steps on how to set the NTP time to ensure that all of your hosts are in sync that they're in sync with not only each other, but also with other services on your network around the NTP time. So we're gonna do this on our Mac computer. We're gonna log into my browser. You can do this on a Mac, Windows, or on a Linux box, just connecting via a browser to your ESXi host or to vCenter. So let's log into the computer right now. So here we are logged in. We've got our browser open and we've now connected to our ESXi host. So I've just connected to my IP address and I'm presented with the login page to be able to access my host. So let's just log in with our root credentials right here. Uh, you can do this uh, by connecting directly to an ESXi host or via vCenter and then selecting your ESXi host within uh, vCenter itself. So from the navigation panel on the left here, you've got host, manage and monitor. We want to select on manage right here. And under here, we've got time and date. So this process is really the same with ESXi 7 as well as early versions of 6. We've got a few different things. You've got uh, edit NTP settings. You've got edit PTP settings, refresh and actions. In our case, we are only concerned about NTP. You see that the current date is set to that, the current date and time. Service is stopped and there are currently no NTP services. servers. So we want to select edit NTP setting right here. Make sure that your time is correct before we start. That's generally a good point. You just make sure that it's up to date with what it actually should be. Select use network time protocol or NTP. And what, it, what we wanna do in here is I like to set my NTP to start and stop with the host. Uh, the reason I do that is in the event where my host dies, it restarts, I have to do updates, uh, or whatever may happen, I want the NTP to start up automatically rather than me having to go back into here and start it up manually. So I'm gonna select start and stop with host. And then I throw in the IP address of an NTP server. So this could be a server that is acting as an NTP server. Uh, it could be your domain controller. It could be something out on your network, perhaps your router, your firewall, or it could even be an external service out on the internet that is uh, gonna act as your NTP server. So throw in the IP address in there. You can throw in more than one. I'm just gonna put in my uh, NTP server, but you can add more than one by just selecting comma and then putting in your next IP address into there. We've just got just the one, so we're gonna now say save. Now, that's the first step done. So the NTP server is now in here, but the service is still stopped. So now we have to go and enable the service itself. So on the top, on the taskbar here, you've got services, so select services. Scroll down to where you see NTPD, okay, right here. You'll see that the service is currently stopped we need this started, the actual service started. So you can select the start button up the top here, click on that, and your service should start. If it does fail for whatever reason, you can try to restart it again, but then you may need to go back and uh, just double check that your IP address is correct as well. So that is now running. So I can go back into system under time and date, just refresh that. And you'll see that now my NTP service status is running, which means that now it's established a connection to my NTP server and the time should now remain in sync. So what you wanna do is you wanna do this across all of your hosts. Make sure that every single ESXi host has your NTP server and the service started to ensure that time is synced across all of the services. So that was it. Hopefully you were able to set the NTP time. Very, very easy and very, very effective to ensure that the time is in sync across all of your devices on your network. But that's it for now. Please like, comment below, subscribe as always to Digital Byte Computing, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.